Right now, I'm on a five and a half hour journey to a national park called Dovre. It's one of the only places in the whole of Norway that still have wild muskox. A little did I know there would be a storm coming in and the road closed roughly just before I got there with 25 meters a second of wind and snow. So it's probably a good thing I wasn't able to get through. But all I could do right now is just wait around until the road eventually opened up again. been waiting here for 17 hours so far just to get through this one stretch of road. I actually need to get through and to the other side of the part that's closed. It's still on the same mountain where I need to go but there's just this one section that's closed with 17 meters a second of wind and yeah uh, I just need to get over that one stretch and I'm at my location, but they're still not sure whether to open the road and there are around nine cars waiting right now, plus two trucks. I really, really hope that this road is gonna open soon, but as it is, it's already three o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm not gonna get anything today but I can only hope that tomorrow is going to be good. But yeah, let's just wait and see where this goes. I'm finally up on the Dovre, but yeah, as it's too late now to even go and take a walk up onto the mountain to find muskox, all I'm gonna do right now is just prepare everything, pack my bag properly, make sure I have the food I need for tomorrow because that's gonna be really important. <laughs> but I really cannot wait to get up there. I seriously hope I do find some muskox. just made it above tree level and I can see the mountain that I would normally go to and I'm aiming to go between the valley between that mountain and the mountain that's behind there but we're looking at probably another hour two hours to go it's sunny but there are some clouds around so I'm not entirely sure how things are gonna be it's only around eight o'clock in the morning right now so I do have a whole day ahead of me and I'm just hoping that the muskox are behind there. I can see that the point where I'm going, there's still a bit of snowfall coming down, 
which is actually something I'm looking for. So I'm actually hoping that when I'm there and I find the muskox that I will get some snowfall because I'm kind of hoping for a specific type of photo this year. But uh, first, I'm just gonna have something quick to eat and then I'm gonna carry on going up to the side of the mountain. Probably about halfway to the destination I want to get to. <sighs> Apart from the wind right now, it is so quiet up here. There are roughly 12 muskox just sitting up there. Oh. But still, quite a walk to go. After a three hour walk up the mountain, I'm finally at a spot where I can see muskox. And oh, I really cannot wait to start taking photos of them. But first, I'm gonna sit down and have some breakfast make sure I do get some food in me because that's gonna really help for the rest of the day and now as I'm not walking all the time I'm gonna add a few extra layers of clothing as it will start to get cold and I need to make sure that I stay warm as I'm gonna be up here for many many hours but yeah let's see if we can get something amazing today Slowly making my way a little bit closer to the muskox. I want them to be aware that I'm in the area as they can be very territorial and protective when they are young around. So you have to be aware that they are wild animals and they can hurt you. So you have to be careful. Just keep an eye on their body language. Take it easy. Take it step by step. Go slowly and enjoy it. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm just watching them and Oh, I'm so glad to be up here on Dovre again to take photos of these beautiful animals. starting to get a little bit colder so I've decided to put on an extra jacket just to make sure that I stay warm because I'm still gonna be here for many more hours today and uh, keeping myself warm is an absolutely must in this situation.
I've ended up finding 22 muskox today and I'm absolutely amazed. I'm so excited, but at the moment I'm just walking around and just trying to find the best angle to take the photos because they're all kind of scattered around everywhere and I'm just trying to see what's going to work best. Um, so I'm not finding exactly what I want just yet, but it's kind of a good thing because it helps me be aware of what they're doing and what is going to end up being the best position for me. And because it's quite bright, I'm actually able to shoot most of the photos at 1 1,000th of a second at f8 and I have my ISO down to 100, so that's actually really good and it's allowing me to get some really sharp shots, so I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. Right now I was just thinking about taking a quick coffee break <laughs> but I've been having a few technical difficulties my phone wouldn't charge because apparently it said it was wet so every time I plugged it in to my power bank uh, it came up with a warning saying it's wet and it won't charge so pretty much had it in my pocket now for some hours I don't even know maybe three hours I've been up here already I'm not sure uh, and that seems to have helped so now it's charging and I'm quickly able to talk <sighs> I've managed to go pretty much all the way around the muskox and back again I'm trying to find the best angle which isn't actually as easy as I thought it would be but I think I've gotten a few good photos so far. The sun behind me is beautiful on the landscape. Where the muskox are, the sun's actually been covered by cloud. What I really was hoping for is a little bit more snow to come in and even gusts of wind. I think that will really just make things a little bit more interesting. But if the sun can come out again, just so I can get that glow on them, that will really enhance the photos quite a lot.
wow what a special moment that was the wind really just kicked in and that was something i was actually hoping for this year my main thing is i wanted it to be pretty much the whole day like that but i am glad i got a moment where i could capture something like this and well yeah the forecast said it's supposed to be really sunny and nice today so the fact that that even happened i'm so happy about um, and generally this year i'm doing things a little bit differently i'm trying to get a little bit more of the landscape in and not just full-on close-ups of the muskox and those are nice photos but i thought i would try and introduce the landscape a bit more so you can see where the animals actually are All the muskox now are pretty much just starting to lie down and sleep. Sun is setting anyway so pretty much all I can do right now is just enjoy these small moments and I'm gonna start getting ready to go back down the mountain. But something I wouldn't normally ask, I would really like it if you could share the video and if you haven't already, subscribe and like. This will really help me out. I enjoy making these videos and it's really nice to know that you guys enjoy watching them.